John in Altadena, California is next. Hi, John. Hey, good afternoon, Leo. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Good, sir. I've got a very smart 15-year-old who's getting around my open DNS <laughs> to, block you, to block YouTube, <laughs> PewDiePie and YouTube. Oh. oh, you can't block PewDiePie. That's uh, that's against federal law, my friend. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's against the law in my house. <laughs> Yeah, the problem is these guys, these kids get smart, you're, and they figure out ways around it. Uh, so the trick on this is to put open DNS, I think, on your router. And well, I've got an Apple. That's the problem. The Apple, you know, the old software used to be able to block MAC addresses and times of the day. This new, I know. New version. Yeah. Is there a hardware solution, or is there an ISP? I have Charter. Can you do that on the modem side? Well, you could still, I'm not sure why you don't want, you could still use open DNS. Just change the DNS on your, oh, I see what you're saying. You want to watch PewDiePie. You just don't want the kid to watch PewDiePie. Well, he's got a, a Chromebook. He used to be an all-Mac family, but now he's got a Chromebook, and he uses a Google DNS to get around the open DNS. So yeah, he, 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 but if you do it in the router, uh, and then, oh, yeah, you'd have to lock it down on his system. You'd have to prevent changes on his system. I see what you're saying. Right. And he yeah. has a Chromebook, so it's pretty open and loose. So he's beating my systems every time. <laughs> Dang, nabbit, kids these days. Uh, he's got to do homework, Leo. I, no, I understand. I do understand. I, uh, as, a, as, a, as a parent of teenagers, I have been through this. We didn't have PewDiePie in my day. Uh, um, but uh, we had we had I, I know he's rich, but yeah, yeah, we had equally well, he had equally annoying things. <laughs> um, right. Let me think. There there used to be, and I think there still are uh, hardware devices, but they always um, they always cause problems uh, in my experience. They slow things down. You you and I, the problem really is that the Apple router now just doesn't have the capabilities it ought to have. To do yes. to do the kind of filtering you'd like to do, yes. um, and uh, that's really the ideal way to do it. Uh, you could you could, for instance, block the domain at the router if you had these capabilities. But Apple's decided they want to make consumer grade devices, not professional grade devices. I think your best bet right. is to get rid of the Apple router and get a better router. Uh. Well, you had, you just asked me about a hardware device. <laughs> That's going to be just as expensive, and you're going to pay a yearly fee or a monthly fee. Um, you're right, sir. You're yeah, right. yeah. I mean, I know you can do it with Open DNS, and that's a great way to do it. But I understand he's not using Open DNS; he just changes the DNS in the Chromebook. I would look at ways to lock down the Chromebook. I am sure there are ways to administer the Chromebook. Um, so I, I'm, I'm stuck. It sounds like. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not sure you're stuck. Um, but I'm going to have to get some help on how you can lock a Chromebook down. Because I'm pretty, I mean, look, they wouldn't be able to sell these to businesses if you couldn't think, do things like lock out PewDiePie. Right. So uh, that's what... During certain times of the day, you know, it's, it's about the clock, you know, controlling the... Uh, I know, I know. You know what I used to do is I'd turn off the internet at 10 p.m. every night. Um, right. And I would do that, in fact, using an Apple router. Uh, that was in the days when they had that capability built in. And they had access. Correct. What you want is an ACL, an access control list, that lets you say certain computers can access YouTube and certain computers cannot. Okay. Um, so the, the the trick is to see what we can do here to control things on the Chromebook. And I bet you there's ways to administer... Yeah, um... A re what you want is an administration tool, a business-style administration tool. Okay. I'm gonna do some. Uh, I'm gonna do some searching on this. I would be shocked if they did not have that kind of stuff because it'd be hard to sell to business if IT didn't have the capability of of changing capabilities on the Chromebook. You know, on a, on on most computers, uh, Windows and Mac, for instance, you could password protect the network settings. And only an admin can get into the network settings, and that would do the job. Um, you can, if you had a more capable router, you can get uh, more sophisticated in the router for sure. And this is a snap. In fact, they even have instructions on uh, Open DNS on how to keep people from using anything but Open DNS. You know, um, okay. but but the the problem is the router is so limited. 
let's see here. Here, omgchrome.com is a website, apparently. omgchrome.com. And they have a page on here, a parent's guide to setting up, aha, supervised users on a Chromebook. And that's what you want. This is a feature that's new to the, relatively new to the Chromebook called supervised users that let you control what your kid can do on the Chromebook. So I'll put a link to this in our show notes. This is exactly what I was looking for. Thank you uh, to the chat room for that. Thanks to Marsworm for that. Um, uh, what you'll do is you'll log in to the Chromebook on your account and you'll turn on this supervised users feature. You have to do it within Chrome and the flags. And once you've done that, you can create a user that is supervised. This will be your kid's account. You don't give him your account, obviously. And when your kid's using it, there'll be limitations to the kinds of things he can do. This is exactly what you want. Chrome has its own supervised users, FAQ. That uh, You know, I'll put that link in the uh, show notes because that will give you everything you need to know.